Hey everybody, Brad with the Big Family Homestead and Krista. And over there is the Preps mighty Preps Center Bob. Preps Center Bob. I want you to know <laughs> there was going to be a warning disclaimer in, in the front of this video, but I've decided just to edit it out. So there will be no construction language in this video at all today. So parents, we're good to go. Essential important work. Essential important work. Which is what? Well, so we hand milk our cows and their teeth get really dry. Hi. Oh, now you come and say hi. Now she's saying thank now you. Now you say thank you. Well, um, with Dottie having a calf on her, um, her teats are very dry. This is the cow <laughs> that this is the cow that kicks the stew out of me every morning in the stanchion. And evening. Well, you're not in the stanchion now, are you? No, I know. So this ointment that we make um, helps to uh, moisturize their teats and heal those cracks. This stuff is fantastic. It's kind of a lot like the hand cream we make. It, ki kind of. It's a very lot like similar. Exactly the same. <laughs> See, after I'm done with them, I put it on my hands and I'm done. All good. And look yeah. at the little one. Little one's yeah. coming right along. She is. She's growing and just a Cute. sweet little thing. And we have a lead on her because she needs to learn how to lead. And we found out from actually some subscribers yeah. that that they'll step on it. And that whoop, now, hey, Dottie's licking on me now. Hello, Dottie. <laughs> that um, they'll learn how to slow down. Oh, hey, stop. <laughs> <laughs> they'll learn how to stop and start and all by themselves. Yeah. By just by standing on it and and then as she goes and she can't go she'll realize oh well then there's tension on this halter then i should stop your tongue is like soft it's, the sand it's really salty like sandpaper yeah. really coarse my gracious look at that what are you doing cow what the heck man okay actually biting your pants so today Continuing construction on the barn and uh, Pride and, and also Preps Dinner Bob are here and they're helping us. Well, technically, Brad they're is helping them. Brad's mortified of heights. Mm -hmm. There's that. Mm -hmm. So they're the ones up on the scaffolding and doing all the stuff that's really dangerous while I just lift heavy things and bring them to them. Right. So <laughs> today we're, we're, we're building and we're doing chicken stuff and we're doing homesteading stuff. And so, yeah. Here we go. Okay, this big humongous board, how heavy do you think that is there, Pride? Oh, heavy. Heavy? Like heavy, 200 pounds heavy? 250. So heavier than Black Sabbath in the 70s, right? That's pretty fair to say. So um, one thing we forgot is they, they have to have something to actually put this up on, a ledge. And so that's called a standoff. So either we're going, you know, old west, you know, pew pew standoff, or we're just feeling standoffish. Right. Yeah, so, we'll go with that one. Yeah. All right, Prep Setter Bob, quick question. What? A lot I'm of people have been asking system. about the, uh, the, the uh, well, I guess you would call it, what do they call the, the intersections here? Ladder framing. Yep. Why? Why ladder framing? A uh, couple things. I didn't explain it last time we were doing this because we were going 90 mile an hour. Yeah. Uh, building a barn, there's a couple of ways. You can do post uh, construction, and that's fine if you're just doing a thing to or a shed. Uh, but for a barn, if you do this ladder sections, what happens is I end up with double studs that'll be underneath each truss. 
and so it'll handle twice as much snow load as a, as a conventional framing. And that's what we want. Right, Strong and then the roof. other thing is a lot of times you're doing stud walls, which the studs are running uh, vertical, and that's fine if you're gonna sheet the outside with like plywood or anything along that line. But since we're gonna use rough sawn lumber, we went horizontal ladder construction. That way, all the uh, uh, rough cut lumber siding will be nailed every two foot, and that'll help to keep it from pitching, waning, and splitting. So Sweet. it's just a different type of construction, uh, mm -hmm. given that we're gonna use rough sawn lumber and the possibility of insulating and, and, and finishing out the inside for a lot of goodies, a lot of goodies later. coming. Yes. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Well, thank you. To coming to a theater near you. <laughs> da, da, da. Okay, so we got the headers put in today and the top, I think he called it a sill. It's a top plate. I think that's it, top plate. But um, that was really the only mission for today because tomorrow is gonna be trusses. They're over there, right over there. And um, then we should be well on our way to getting ready for the tin. Uh, I don't think we'll get to the tin tomorrow, but trusses is the big deal. It's supposed to rain like crazy coming up here in just a few minutes. But way to go, and thank you to Pride and Prep Sitter Bob and, and Mama and, and Ryan and everybody that was here. Well, unfortunately, folks, weird day. That's really all we got done. Yeah. Um, but it was kind of planned that way because tomorrow is going to be longer. a long day. Longer day. Yeah. Hot day. Yeah. Well, for Wisconsin, hot. 77 for a high. <laughs> no, I thought it was 84. I No, I, I looked a little while ago and it said 77 for a high. I would have said 77. No, no chance of rain, low humidity, so it should be it should be a nice day. Yeah, but we're actually going to have a, we got a blessing. We're going to be able to go and spend some time with some friends mm -hmm. and um, hopefully, what's that word? Re, 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 relax. Relax? I, don't know what I that think is. that's it. Yeah. I'm told it's really nice. I'm told it's been, it's a lot of fun. It's fabulous. Yes. So, we any... need to relax before tomorrow. Oh, tomorrow. My back is already hurting. Yeah. I know, mine too. So anyway, that's it for the video, but watch this throwback video and enjoy and just, I'll tell you what. Laugh. It, well, <laughs> and see how far God's brought us. Mm -hmm. Cause dang, mm -hmm. dang. <laughs> there you go, Brad. Krista. Because I'm blissed and amazing and all that day. Bye. All that day. Hey! Lots of hay. <laughs> what are you doing? So we thought we had enough hay for the winter for the animals. We, we pretty well we, bet we, we do. had we had enough good hay, good hay, but we had found a really cranking deal on this big roll of hay. So, but there is a catch. Yeah. We don't have any heavy equipment, so we're gonna be slugging this thing around by hand. Yeah, should be fun. Fun. What you doing, little fella? Fixing it. Fixing what? Oh, it's loose. Big time loose. Tighten it down, you tightener of, yep. of tightening things. I don't have the right size. You guys look like you're cold or something. Just a little bit. What, it's only in the 20s. Only. Gosh. Just not used to it yet. Jonathan broke the tractor. I did not. Again? Again. Broke the tractor. It's proof. Just Here's proof. Off of the tractor. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Run around. Oh, that's heavy. That's my knee. I'm gonna flop the flies up. question is how to get this thousand pounds of hay from here to there without hurting anybody. <laughs> Most likely me. They have no idea. 
Yeah, this might be a little more difficult than I thought. This ought to be good. You don't know what we got in store for you, but there's a treat over here that you are not even gonna believe. Let's go see it, let's go see it. Shall we, Petunia? Come on, come on, girl. All right. Let's see what we got. They're like, this is the biggest salad bar in the entire galaxy. You never had ones that are in round in circles. You've only had them in squares. So there you have it, folks, a tail. A harrowing tale of bravery and sheer brute force. <laughs> so what you got to do to? Oh yeah, yep. you, you know exactly what. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. So I'm Brad. I'm Krista. And you're not. So <laughs> have an amazing day. Bye. Well, a funny thing happened on our way to get this hay. We uh, we went to the farmer's place. Really cool guy named Chad. Awesome, awesome dude. And he loads it up onto this little trailer and we, we get about halfway down his driveway when this ball right here pops off. Bam! Drops the trailer onto the ground. It's jackknifed. And um, we went really slowly home the rest of the way. It took a really long time. Yeah.